and to details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi performed Friday prayer at Field Marshal Tantawi's Mosque. The prayer sermon focused on the virtues of martyrdom and the status of martyrs as Egypt recently marked the Martyrs Day, which falls on March 9th in the memory of the martyrdom of the former Armed Forces Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Abdel Monaim Riyadh in the battlefield. The preacher hailed the martyrs' dear sacrifices for protecting the nation and settling it on course of development. Performing the prayer alongside the President were Minister of Defense General Mohammed Zaki, Grand Imam of Al-Azhar Dr. Ahmad Al-Tayyib, Minister of Endowments Dr. Mohammed Mukhtar Goma, as well as top military, brass and top statesmen. After the prayer, the President held a meeting with military commanders. The meeting reviewed a number of important regional and international issues as well as armed forces tasks on all strategic directions. President Abdel Fattah Sisi fulfilled the dream of the youth of Capitano Misr program and attended final match. Capitano Misr is the largest television show scouting talented teenagers in football from all govern rates in Egypt and the Middle East. The program is an important project on which the state depends in building future football generations in line with President El Sisi's unlimited support for sports and other fields in the country. President Abdel Fattah Sisi sent congratulatory cable to Chinese President Xi Jinping on his re-election as the president of China for a new term. The president wished Xi success in achieving the aspirations of the Chinese people, as well as more progress and prosperity. President El Sisi also praised the strong bilateral relations between Egypt and China, expressing confidence that the bilateral relations will witness more positive development in the coming years. President Abdel Fattah Sisi sent two cables of condolences to Saudi Arabia's King Salman ibn Abdelaziz and Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman over the death of Princess Al Jauhara, daughter to Abdelaziz bin Abdelrahman Al Saud. The President offered sincere condolences and wished blessings for the soul of the late Princess and solace and patience to her family. Marking the Martyrs Day and in the framework of the Interior Ministry's care for the Martyrs families, the Ministry organized a celebration for the families of the Martyrs. These came in appreciation of the sacrifices made by their sons for the stability of the nation and in continuation of the support and care provided by the Ministry to the Martyrs families. <laughs> 